Here are five things I've learned in the past five years as a content creator. Do not do it for yourself. Do it for your audience. In the first three years of me being a content creator, I was posting nothing but pretty makeup looks. Especially when I first got on Instagram and TikTok, I never opened my mouth. If I didn't get good views, I would blame it on my makeup not looking pretty enough, which is so stupid. If you want to grow on any platform, you have to stop being a silent makeup machine or whatever you're doing. Even though there are big influencers doing it and they're doing pretty well, they are silent makeup machines. But imagine if there are already people successful like that, how are you any different? And what makes you think you can outgrow them? If you think you're not going to make it because you can't do XYZ, the only solution is to suck it up and do it. In my first year of being content creator, I didn't have a camera. I didn't have a place to film. So I borrowed a camera from my dad's company. My dorm looks horrible, so I filmed in my parents' bedroom. A friend of mine has been telling me that I had no personality because I don't talk and show myself. I almost thought it was impossible for me because I'm fucking Chinese. So I kept procrastinating to a point that I realized I have to do it or I won't see a success. So I literally repeat every sentence for 10 times and then pick the best one. This is how I started talking in videos. And it still takes me like 10 times to finish the sentence perfectly. But no matter what is like currently stopping you right now, the quicker you conquer those blocks, the more competitive you are among other creators. Consistency is key, but not the key to success. Consistency is essential to success. If you're posting consistently, you got the access to the game. And that's it. There is so much more to it. Your content quality, your skills, your lighting, your personality, SEOs, posting times and all that. All the boxes have to be checked if you want to be successful. If you think your content is bad now, just keep posting. Anytime I watch my content a year ago, I want to choke myself to death. Just keep in mind that you won't stay bad forever and consistency will get you out of it. And on the contrary, if you think your content is dope but not going viral, judge yourself one year later. You don't need that much makeup to be a content creator. Okay, this might be specific to beauty content creator, but literally don't be fooled by those people who have a beauty room, a fucking warehouse. They didn't start with that much makeup. This is also one of the reasons I started the palette makeup series because there are many colors. I just need a couple of colorful palettes and I can mix and match so many different looks. And this is what you need to think about too. And if you have any extra budget, save your budget on a lighting or shooting setup. Like seriously, if I look like this, would you not scroll away immediately? I never thought about investing in lighting until my boyfriend got me the first ring light. And this is how I started to invest more money on this. And trust me, it's so worth it. Just start from one good light. You can use them forever. That will make you look instantly more professional and closer to a big influencer's appearance. I've talked to you guys more in the comments. Follow me if you like this look.